summer of 2014 was when I had my first biopsy. I had a bump in my knee and it turned out to be cancerous. I got it surgically removed and that was really it. I didn't think anything of it. However, being young, I wanted to keep looking tan and at the time I worked at a tanning salon so everything was just there for me. I continued tanning about three to four times a week. I didn't really think anything of it. I didn't think it was a big deal at all. And I thought to myself, you know, if I developed anything, I could just get it surgically removed. It wasn't until November of 2015 when I had to go back to the dermatologist again that I really had a life-changing experience. I had another bump and this time around I also got a biopsy and a surgery but the surgery didn't remove all of the cancer. It was metatistic melanoma, it was stage 2, and I had a risk of it spreading. When my cancer increased to stage 3, that meant that it had officially spread through my lymph nodes. Um, as a result of that, I actually had to get a lumpectomy done because there was a bump in my breast. And I just remember thinking to myself, what else could go wrong? Didn't know if I was going to have cancer the next morning in any other part of my organ, and it was really terrifying. So I kept thinking to myself, every time I tanned, that was a potential day I've taken away from my own life. And I could have just easily prevented it. You think skin cancer, you just got it removed and it's okay. But it wasn't okay. And I was just really scared. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know who to talk to about it. I really isolated myself, kept it to myself. I didn't know what was gonna happen with me. I didn't know if there was any sort of chance of me dying from it and how long I would have, if anything, because there isn't that much information out there. I had to really research everything. I want to give a special thank you to the Melanoma Research Foundation for educating me more about melanoma as well as helping me educate others 